That is incredible. These, <laughs> these wheels with these calipers and these center caps just look unreal. Wow, wow, wow. What a difference these new alloys make on my car. I mean, they just look incredible. I've read all your guys' comments about your opinions on them and they're not the most reliable wheels, which is absolutely fine. But I am over the moon with how they look. And today we're only gonna be complimenting them by changing a few more things on the car, which will hopefully elevate how it looks, I'm gonna say. Now, if you haven't seen last week's video where we actually put the wheels on the car, I'll leave a link. I think this is the top right, I'm gonna guess so. For obviously you guys to go watch that video, I'd highly suggest you do so. It was a crazy video, so much happened, and it's also my best video on YouTube yet. But today I've got plans of hopefully painting the brake calipers. I also want to tint the rear lights because they kind of stand out. You know, when we did like what stand or what stood out most of the car, and it was the wheels. Well, it's now the rear tail lights or rear lights, whatever you want to call them. They're what stand out most now. So I need to really quickly head to Holfords and Wicks to pick up a few things like paint, sandpaper, all the other stuff that we need to basically complete today's quests, tasks, whatever you want to call them. So let's jump in the car and let's head over to Holfords because I don't want to waste any time. Let's go. Okay, so we're here now at uh, Holfords and we're here to basically pick up a few bits we need. I want some brake color paint and I've decided to go red because the interior of my car is red, so it's probably gonna match up better. I'm also gonna need some axle stands, so I'm gonna pick some of these up as well. Hopefully they should be able to hold the car. I've never used them before, but I'm sure they will be. And the last thing I'm gonna need is some um, wheel cleaner because, well, I wanna clean the car and I wanna also clean the wheels. So we're gonna get some and hopefully we'll bring back some lovely, sparkly, shiny wheels. So back to my office now. We've obviously got all of our goodies, obviously with the ratchet stand, um, red line cleaner basically. I think that's what it is. Basically, yeah, it is. Lovely. And then the brake caliper paint. Now, I have no clue how you paint brake calipers. I've never really been able to paint at all in my life, I'll leave. Literally, this is one bit of art I did probably a couple months ago. You could tell I'm not very much of an artist. Obviously, with the brake caliper being behind the wheel, we've got to take the wheel off. We've got some new hubcaps coming as well later on in the video. Hopefully, some fully blacked out ones where I swap them over. And then it kind of just get rid of that little hint of colour on the side, which will obviously just look stunning by the end of it. We've got so much dirt on these wheels already since they've been refurbed. I'm not really doing them justice, am I? I want to give the car a good old clean. So I'm definitely going to do that first before cracking on with the brake colour paint. I'm also going to try and take my rear lights this video. Maybe go full black with them. I do want to get some LED ones in this future though, but for now I think just tinting them is probably a good idea. But before we start smashing on getting these wheels off, I think we definitely give the car a clean because it is filthy, absolutely filthy. So let's just get cracking on with cleaning my beautiful little one series. Okay then, my car is now wonderfully clean. Uh, as you can see, the wheels they are still just absolutely stunning. I mean, just look at the quality. Honestly, the guys down at TB have done such a good job with these. And we might be going back there again soon, as thanks to one of you guys, I might have got a rear bumper for the car. An M Sport one as well. Not sure if you guys know what the M Sport one looks like, but it's nothing, well, it's obviously like this, but it's got kind of like, uh, a sportier look basically but the only problem is it's white and obviously tb do body stuff as well so i've asked them if they could quote me on how much it'd be just to get the bumper painted fingers crossed or we heading back down there soon just obviously drop that off but we'll see time will tell but for now i'm going to start with tinting the rear lights as i've decided i would like to do that first mainly because i'm actually going to run out of time today uh it's literally going to go dark in about 30 minutes and tomorrow it's going to be raining so it's probably a better day that i do that instead of doing the brake calipers so we're gonna try and do these tomorrow or basically in a second for you. So I'll catch back with you guys in a day's time. Okay, so it is now the next day and it's time that obviously we start working on these rear lights. They shouldn't be too difficult from what I've seen because 
well, we're just gonna be smoking this, the outside of the light basically. And it looks like all it is on the inside, there is that bolt there, uh, that bolt up there, yeah, that one there, and then there's another one just tucked in down back, just there. So if we undo those three, the light should come out. First, we're gonna clean the boot. And there we go, the boot is now empty. So I believe to take these off, it's just a eight mil socket. Um, should be able to just put it over the top and undo them. And then I think, if I'm correct, there's little clips that sit down into the bumper. So you kind of got to bring it forward and lift it up. I think we're going to give it a go and take these off because if we're going to spray paint them, we're going to want it off the car. I don't really want to do it on the car. So off the car is the best choice. Oh, and if you're doing this yourself, remember to undo the electrical connections because if you don't undo them, they'll, well, I don't really think the light's gonna come off the car because it would just be connected to it. And there we go. Literally just taking off these three nuts down here has freed up the back of the light. All you need to do is take off that electrical connection and then if you pull this one down, the whole bait, oh, actually no, you don't even need to undo, you don't even have to take the electrical cable out. If you just pull this back or pull down, you see the whole light assembly just drops off. You just gotta be careful with it because obviously there are a few bulbs on there, but that frees up the full headlight. And there we go. That is exactly what we're gonna be tinting today. Right then, before we actually go and tint these lights, why does the back of the car look so strange? Like, do you see what I mean? Without the lights, that is odd. That's such a weird look. Just got the bulbs hanging out and make sure to take care of them. Make sure to take care of them if you do it yourself as well. I've tried, I've tucked these ones in behind because the lights are slightly different. These ones don't want to go in behind. There's just like more cables that's preventing it. It's a bit weird, but that's what the rear of the car is looking like. It's odd, it's very odd, I will admit. But we're now gonna take these round to the back of my house, get these cleaned up, get these, um, what's the word? Rubbed down with a bit of sandpaper and then we're gonna spray them. Whilst they're drying, we're then gonna try and paint the brake calipers. So let's just get cracking on. All right, so we have the lights out back now and all we're gonna do is basically just clean them and then use a bit of fine sandpaper on them, clean them again and then spray them. Hopefully then we'll have some black rear lights as long as I don't put too much spray on, because I don't want to have them full murder black. But let's just give this a go, because I've never done it before, and I'm actually quite excited. Let's go. Okay, so I've put a first layer on right now, or a first coat, should I say. It's not too bad, you know, but I have actually gone a little bit too thick down there. You can see it, and I had to wipe a bit off over here, but it's not actually too bad. They're looking all right, to be fair, considering I've never spray painted in my life. Today's the day where I'll be spray painted a lot, because I've also got to do the brake calipers in a little bit. But for now, as a first coat, I am really happy with these. We'll probably come back in maybe 45 minutes for me check on them, see if he needs to add another coat or not. But let's get cracked on those brake calipers next because they're gonna be a bit more longer of a job than just this. Okay, change plan. So as I can't undo the bolts on the other side, I can on this side luckily. So we're gonna do this side, jack it in the air, and then um, we're gonna try and give a go at painting this caliper. Alrighty, so we have now got the wheel out of the hub and to be fair, I'm actually really happy with this. I know last time when I took a wheel off, I was well happy, I am again. And these wheels look incredible. And you know when I said they needed to be re-welded? Well, here is the welds that we were talking about. They look, well, they look like good welds, except the middle one, which was done by some dodgy bloke before, apparently. But these wheels, in my opinion, 
they are absolutely gorgeous but like i said we're only gonna be complimenting them today let's get these calipers painted bread uh, painted bread not painting them with bread we're painting them red so let's get these red but actually before i do that i've got a little summer summon that we're going to add to the wheels you see these hubcaps or center caps whatever you want to call them they are chipped mangled and they just do not look very nice well in my passenger side we've got something that will change that in this bag just here we've got some brand new center hubcaps that is really gonna just go along with obviously the look of all black so let's just sit you guys here and let me show you what i'm talking about so in this bag we've got some brand new all black and white center hubcaps whatever you want to call them i keep saying that to sit right here on the wheels it's going to look incredible i think these are as easy as just pushing them out like that nice and easy taking these clipping them in oh look at that okay now we're talking that looks insane oh i'm gassed of that when that's on the car oh my god we're going to be talking some something insane because right now if you look at it like this they kind of stand out with a hint of color but now with these no color right let's crack on with these calipers because i really want to get the wheel back on now to see what this looks like and i'm really nervous about holding it on the jack i can't get it on any um what's it called on any of the stands unless maybe i get it somewhere here i don't know they're a bit too tall but like i said one day we'll get some scissor jacks or scissor lift whatever you want to call them and we'll put them onto that so now that the calipers are exposed they're actually really dry uh, they're actually really dirty not dry um we're actually making them wet you know that cleaner we got we're gonna be spraying some of that onto the caliper hopefully it'll just eat through some of the dirt and give it well make it just a little bit more clean for when we come to scratching up with sandpaper <laughs> Okay, so now the caliper's clean, got some uh, pretty rough sandpaper. I'm just gonna rough up as much of this as I can because um, we're basically just trying to create a surface that the paint can basically bond to. Once that's all roughed up, then I'm gonna cover up basically as much of it as we can, just keep basically just the brake caliper exposed because then, like I said, we'll just be painting the brake caliper and nothing else. Okay, so I've got the wheel masked up as much as i possibly can or not the wheel the wheel hub um i'm gonna try and just paint this caliper now i know some of you may be in the comments going oh my god you've not covered it enough like blah 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 honestly this is the best i can do with the facilities that i've got to my um what's it called basically with everything i've got this is the best i can do I'm just gonna basically just try and paint as much of this and not this wish me luck we're gonna give this a go fingers crossed it turns out all right if not then um, well, I don't really know. First coat applied, and I may have got a paint just like down here, maybe a little bit on the pad, but all of that will come off obviously when I use the car. Um, it might have got around here and everything. It's okay. It's not actually that bad of a job, to be honest, in my opinion anyway. But we're gonna let this dry, get a second coat on. We've now also put three coats on the rear lights and they will be, I think, good enough now with three coats. So once those lights are dry, we're actually gonna put them on next and then come back and do another coat of this. So let's just get those rear lights on now quickly and get that finished. All right, so let's get these lights back on the car then. So this is what we've gone for. This much spray, they actually look really, really good in my opinion. Went there on the back of the car in a minute. Shut up, seagulls. Thank you. When they're on the back of the car in just a second, wow, are they going to look good. So let's just go get these on the back of the car real quick. Oh, they look incredible, guys. So happy with them. Okay, so this is literally what they look like up against the car. You know the deal. Exact same as taking them off, but just in reverse. Really easy. Oh, 
<laughs> oh my god, guys, this Joe Talent. <laughs> <laughs> I am speechless. You may hate this, you may love this, you might think it's chavy, you might think it's not, but it adds to the car, doesn't it? Talking about stealth from the car out, this is incredible. Compared to what they looked like before, absolutely incredible. Obviously, we've got a great caliper down there. We've got another coat to add to that, and then they should be done. But, oh, my God. I'm completely over the moon with this. I might need to... Um, no? Perfect. I might need to just polish that a little bit because it's a tiny bit sticky and got some finger marks in it. Polishing it out, though, might just make it look even better. But, I yeah, I'm... I'm over the moon with these. Let's get the wheels. Well, let's finish off this caliper and get the wheel back on. And then I might go through quickly change all of these hubcaps and all the wheels because it'd be weird to have one and the other three not. Let's get this brake caliper finished. Okay, paint is now dry. Well, I hope it's dry. It looks it. And mostly, it'll, it'll, it'll be fine. Ish. Yeah, it'll be mostly fine. We're gonna take all of this tape off and get the wheel back on. And then, fingers crossed, we'll have one finished brake caliper. Go. That seems to be all of it. It's not perfect. We've obviously got paint a bit on the on the uh, brake pad, but all of that will come off when I start driving anyway. Let's get this wheel back on, shall we? Wow. Wow, wow, that is incredible, Geasley. <laughs> these wheels of these calipers and these center caps just look unreal. I'm gonna change the other three center caps on the wheels now really quickly. Well, yeah, once we've done that, we'll then, I'll then show you what it all looks like. So let's quickly just change those three center caps over and let's give you a quick look of what the whole car looks like. And just like that is the next day yet again. And yesterday I ended up not actually being able to change any of the hubcaps on any of the three wheels because the wheel is stuck to the hub. I don't know how to get it off. I've searched up videos, I've watched them, I've tried to, literally everything that everyone says, like kicking the wheels like either side to try and get them loose to knock them off. They're not coming off. So I can't change the hubcaps on them and I can't paint the calipers. So at the moment we're just stuck with one. Just one. I mean, it looks a bit ridiculous with just one, but I mean, you can just tell by the look of this wheel here. You see, just break. Oh, wow. Well, you can see where I got a bit of paint down there, which is fine. But that hubcap, compared to these, ah, oh, it's 10 times better. It looks 10 times better. I'm so happy with it. And then these rear lights. <sighs> In this type of lighting where it's quite sunny, they're not being picked up the best, but they are lovely and smoked. Went out last night, the only issue though is, whenever my rear light's on, I can't really see a reflection, or like, I can't really see much of a hue out of any of my mirrors to do with them, which is a little bit sketchy, but the looks of them are incredible. My cats come say hello. You all right? <laughs> but, I'm completely over the moon with these. But my question to you guys is, where do we go from here? What do we do next? I'll probably just crack on with the rest of those brake calipers off camera, do them all by myself. Because, I mean, you've seen how I do one, you don't really want to or have to see how I do the other three, because we all know now. But where do we go from here? I want to get some angel headlights at some point, but with the amount of money that I spent on these wheels, 
I want to wait a little bit before I spend an extra like 200 plus pounds on some headlights. Thanks to one of you guys, I will be picking up soon an M Sport rear bumper to go here. I did say it earlier in the video, it is white. Maybe we try and paint it ourselves. If not, we'll definitely take it down to TV and they'll do it for us. But I'm not sure if we're going to do it next week or the week after, I'm not sure. I've also got the idea of changing these mirror caps to M M ones. Yeah, you know the ones that have like the little flicks on them like this? I'm thinking possibly that as well. And maybe change the front bumper to a 1M1. Then once we've done that, I'll kind of be out of ideas then. That'll be almost everything I can do to this car. If you have any more ideas, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear them. But that is all we have got time for this week, guys, unfortunately. Thank you ever so much for tuning in. I'll see you next week on Sunday. Have a great week, and I'll catch up with you then. Peace out.